Howdy folks, we're talking table saws today. Uh, we've talked about table saws in the past, but something that is kind of general knowledge for with most of us is the number of teeth on a blade and how it applies to uh, the work, whether it be a table saw or in this case over there, that ugly old uh, chop saw. <laughs> and wanted to talk about that today and also hoping to get some comments and opinions on what your favorite uh, blade is for your 10 inch uh, table saw and just see you know who all's using what out there. I'll show you what I've found and what I've run into over the years and then we'll, we'll like I said we'll ask for comments and see you know does anybody have a, a favorite blade that they like to use in a table saw. Over the years uh, I have run between uh, 40 tooth and 60 tooth with carbide tips. Now for you newbies, a uh, long time ago general purpose blades didn't even have carbide tips. Yeah! And they were just tool steel with a, with a big hooky blade on the end with a great big gullet, you know. Uh, see if I, I don't know if I have any. Yeah. Uh, so this is, this is sort of like what I'm talking about. This one actually has the carbide tip, but it would look sort of like this, great big gullets in it. And it was a 24 tooth general purpose cutting saw blade. And a lot of times these blades would come with the saws that you purchased at the big box stores or eh, wherever. And most of us characters, we would take these off and just, you know, pitch them kind of thing. In fact, I don't have one here because I sent mine off to a uh, scrap um, iron dealer not that long ago just to clear them out of here so I had a bunch of the old ones without the uh, carbide on them even they were really old saw blades 12 inches a matter of fact and also I had some uh, 10 inch but they're, they're all out of here anyway this is the sort of thing you run into back then and this was called general purpose for you know ripping like for fast cutting two by four you know that sort of thing great for a builder I guess so you buy a new table saw or you buy a used table saw. It's, but the first thing you're gonna probably consider or should consider after you get the table saw home is what sort of blade you need or what you should buy. Generally, I find most people, and again, I want comments below if we can get them. Uh, I buy three blades. I buy a low tooth count, you know, a middle of the road tooth count and a high tooth count. I usually like to go somewhere around 40, 60, and 80, you know, for the different cuts that I need for all the different crazy projects that I get into. But some people might have something else. Uh, I've seen, you know, a good plywood blade that might be 120 teeth, but I have found like this one here is uh, 60, and we did plywood just about a week ago or so with it, and it was awesome. I mean, it just, it did a beautiful job. Of course, it's a brand new blade, so yeah, it's going to do a good job. How long will it last? I don't know, because let's let's talk about manufacturers. There is, aftermarket-wise, you're looking at, all, at the, you just go to the big box store, you'll see a lot of different uh, blades, uh, you know, Craftsman DeWalt, uh, Spider, uh, Diablo. Diablo makes some really good blades. I have purchased Diablo in the past, and I've been very happy with everything they have ever that I've ever purchased for Diablo. Uh, I do want to show you something too. I recently purchased, uh, you probably saw it on the show, uh, Craftsman, it's a little circular saw, seven and a quarter, and the blade that came with it, oh man, what a piece of trash. The, the machine itself is probably fine, but they shouldn't even give those things out with those blades, but uh. Yeah, here it is here. Uh, look at this thing, 18 teeth. Do you know how rough a cut you're gonna get out of that thing? So one of the first things, if you buy a, a new Craftsman or whoever, you're probably gonna wanna buy a blade for this too. But let's, let's stick to the, the uh, table saw. Now I'm doing this, uh, talking about the number of teeth. We're not talking about the teeth style because uh, there are different blades out there. Some of them, I guess I'll do this sort of thing. The teeth are sometimes like this, where they're you know edged out. Each tooth is offset to the next tooth, which gives you a different cut. And there's different you know things involved with that type of blade. The other thing too that I'm going to avoid today is I guess we'll, we won't talk about hardwood <laughs> or green treated lumber. The secret to green treated lumber uh, we found out, uh, I worked for a company years ago that we would uh, take all the green lumber for the project and we'd lay it out in the sun and we'd leave it there for about a week at the project site before we'd come back to actually do the uh, dock and deck or bridge work whatever we were doing and that way it would cut through the saw a lot easier. If you have wet uh, green treated lumber, because that <clears throat> was something that was mentioned early today, I believe it was, 
add, it's when it's wet, it's not going to go through anybody's saw very well. It's going to be a real tough cut and it's going to be hard on the equipment, the machine, it's just not worth it. Uh, if you can lay it out someplace and expose it to the sun and let it dry out for about a week or something like that, uh, it will cut a lot easier and it'll be, it'll still be a bit of a challenge compared to just, you know, common pine 2x4 or something like that, but the, the you will cut a lot better and it, there's a lot less chance you're going to damage your equipment. Blade number. Let's let's get back to the teeth numbers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides the teeth number, there's also another situation here. Uh, the speed and the power of a saw. Right now, this saw has a 60 tooth blade on it, brand new. This saw here behind me also has a 60 tooth blade on it that's uh, brand new. But this will cut a 2x4 cleanly and look really good. It'll be fine. If I put a 2x4 in here right now, it'll cut, but it will burn and it will be a bear to get through. So part of what it comes down to, in this case here, this saw has more torque and also more horsepower. <laughs> Uh, a little bit more RPM and so the performance with the same blade is quite different. Like I said, this, this blade will do some pretty amazing work for me. I'm probably going to be switching down to a 40 because for me the 40 T seems to be the general, you know, the, the right area to be in for most anything I put through the saw day to day that if, if I don't want to change blades or something. I can normally pull a project out of, out of the uh, barn and it could be some pine 2x4, 2x6, whatever, and I can just be running it through and just stay with this blade. The 60 tooth in this case here, it's, it's a nice blade, it's doing a good job, but I really shouldn't be using it for this. This is sort of uh, a little over the top. And in fact, I might even pick up another one of these for that one because again, it's uh, it's the 60 tooth on that, same thing. It's a little, it's a little tough on it. Anywho, yeah, uh, number of teeth. I I'd love to hear some uh, feedback on this one, guys. And uh, I'm keeping it short today. We had a couple of uh, strange issues happen here this morning. Uh, we had a baby skunk hanging around for a while. Something happened to him. I had to bury him this morning. He uh, stopped breathing about 10 o'clock in the morning in my backyard. And I was like, well, you know, it's like at least he's out of pain or whatever was going on. So we, uh, we buried him. So... We'll uh, dedicate this video in memory of, uh, we'll call him Stinky, because <laughs> what else do you call skunk? <laughs> Thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe. And Thursday, big things happen. Big, big giveaway on Thursday. All right.